Day guys, went to garage sale this morning and came home with these. Um, they were quite affordable. Folks, five dollars. Five dollars. Um, so first things first, I'll do a quick start up. Um, this mass sport physically is in pretty good condition, um, apart from the catch flap, which I went and got another one earlier from the local scrapyard because there was another one of these with the Tecumseh on it and I don't deal with that shit so anyway put that on the run I suppose we'll give them a quick wash and then maybe tomorrow I'll get back into working on them. Maybe later today, see what happens. I did record. Um, all the decals are really nice on this engine. Um, the engine's obviously had it. Um, we'll give this engine a send off later than not. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. Anyway, um, I'll put another short block on that and maybe reuse this cowling, this fuel tank, uh, just because the stickers are nice and bright still. Um, the base isn't in really good shape, so this, you know, just needs a bit of a service. Putting your pull rope on it, um, bit of a clean up. Someone's already put a new spark plug in for me, so put some new blades on it, I suppose. Uh, the fuel tap decal's missing, replace that, and um, pack this one up, pretty much send it to me. Okay. So for engines, I've got two over here that I suspect are okay. Um, uh, is that one? Would have been a four horsepower, I'd dare you say. Oops, still had oil on it. And then I've got this one. Um, that beauty cover's got a big crack in it though, so. 
can just reuse that Sprint 375 one. And that's actually off a mass sport part as well, so the crankshaft in theory can be the right length. Once you get all this shit that's wrapped around it off. That's top. Uh, fuck it, I'll get in off later. Um, otherwise, these have been a few pickups lately. Uh, a lot of scrap. A few good ones moment though. Mm. Well, come back when it's not raining. So, as we could tell with this one yesterday, the engine's absolutely knackered, so I'll just disconnect the throttle cable, got the air filter out of the way, which was only held on by this tyre wire anyway. Um, and then I think there's the three mounting belts underneath, should be 916th, and remove the blade. Um, once again, bailing twine all wrapped around it. It's all right. So um, that's 916th, then 916th. Whip this off and um, try and get this blade boss off the off the crankshaft as well. So engine's off. Um, I've cut away all that bailing twine. These things are usually rusted on solid, and um, half the time I've sort of, if the engine's completely toast, I just cut the crankshaft off and sort of drive it from the other side in the vice. But how good is that? That is awesome. Um, so maybe a bit of time. Right, so also took the um, crankshaft key out. Here's our replacement engine. I'm not sure what the story is with this one. It was uh, sitting out the back here, so anyway, the whirl all over it, but might have a broken um, inlet manifold or just missing some bolts. But doesn't have any um, bad sounds when you sort of shake the crank back and forth so we'll just wing it and go with this one worst case pull this one back off and um, try another one so anyway I'll just um, I'll get some emery cloth and clean up this crankshaft fit up the boss and um, fit it on there and then worry about the top half later left in it so we'll just tidy up these front edges and bolt it on there. Got a nice edge on it now. So next up pull the whole top end off this motor lot starter um, carburetor. Gotta do the catch flap at some stage too. Um, what cowling I'll use. I've got one with a broken starter on it. This has a good starter on it. So I could um, potentially drill out the rivets. Put that on um, quite a neat uh, 450 series curly. Or, because the um, pulley's busted on this one. Or I could just put the old Sprint 375 curling on. Might make it a li little bit more modern by putting the um, 450 series curling on there though. So, I um, got a little bit carried away. Everything's put back together except for that cash flap net, which I'll do next. Um, ended up putting a new diaphragm, new prime bulb on the carb. Here's I've got some help. Bugger off, you little shit. Bugger off. Um, yeah, it runs quite well. So, quickly change that catch flap and I'll do a start up for you and quickly clean it up for sale. So, give it a quick crime. Bugger off.
all done. Ready for sale. Alright, just gotta wait for some blades to turn up for the Victor. Um, I've only got two, it requires four. And I'll um, we'll tidy that one up as well. So, onto this Victor now. Um, blades have finally turned up for it. They took their sweet ass time. Um, for the main blade plate bolt on these power torque engines, you'll need a 15 16 um, And the impact helps matters. If not, you can find a way to block the disc from turning and you can usually undo them. Um, find a proper impact socket, not what I'm about to do. And you'll need a 9 16 for the blade bolts themselves. So, uh, this should come off. I haven't undone it yet, but. Nice. Yeah. Side officers just barging in as usual. Do a spray on each belt. Not that it really matters, we won't be reusing them. Just stick our nut back on the crankshaft. Right. Pretty simple to change the um, blades on these. I'll go through what all of the bolts and washers go on in a second. Um, take all the old ones off. Come out, you little cunt. Oh, it already has. Do you have to? I'll throw your ball in a second. Not quite. There we go, beautiful. I love this thing. I got it for a present. And um, saves a lot of time and effort. All right, I'll just get rid of these old blades and um, they just pop out. Like so. And then we'll get set up with the new ones. So pretty much all order goes, bolt, the um, plastic washer, blade, a bit hard to do it single handedly when the dog's throwing a ball to you, um, blade disc, washer, nut, so I'll um, quickly throw one on and show what happens. Also I um, just quickly took a wire brush to where the blades mount on the plate, um, make sure it's got nice clean fitment, and also just quickly wire wheeled the um, crank stud, just so the nut goes on smoothly and doesn't bind and cross thread. Right, there we are all done, so you've got bolt, plastic washer blade, blade plate, um, flat washer, or it's sort of domed, so I'll put the dome side up so as the nut tightens down on it, puts a bit of pressure on, and then the nut um, is checked that the blades aren't loose from popping around. If you apply some pretty firm pressure to them, they should slide back. The whole idea is that if you hit something really solid, that um, the blade will move back out of the way and not damage anything. We'll just pretend that's an impact socket. Do as I say, not as I do. Done. Now there is a nut side and a blade um, blade plate side on that washer. Actually, I'll just whip it back off so I can show. All right. In the sun. That's nut side and it is domed. So as it tightens down, once again, it puts a little bit of pressure on. Started and like cross threading the fucking thing and then just driving it home with the impact, I suppose. Done. While you're here, check the crank um, bearings. One's got a little bit of movement in it, but nothing to really worry about. Um, you can also have a look. And I know the flywheel's in the way, but if you've got a badly leaking bottom engine seal, that'll be covered in oil and crap. 
um, his mower runs quite well, so I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, now we'll flip it up, move on to the starter, and just quickly check the carb. I might replace a couple of O-rings, and then clean the machine itself. Now, we've sort of skipped forward a couple of weeks here, but the red mass port is sold. Got 100 bucks for it. Had maybe $15 total in it. It was enough to summon some alcohol anyway. So I've given the engine another quick degrease. Um, looks really good. So I've just taken the top cover off. Nothing to it really. One, two, three bolts behind the little black plastic clip on top. Um, while we're here, we'll replace this carburetor O-ring. Carb seems to work fine, runs all right. So um, we'll replace this starter rope while it's easy to get to. And I'll say I've got some paint. I might paint the exhaust. You could go all out on it, but you know, just cut it into your profit line. So, uh, someone's parked out the front. There's our muffler, um, just waiting for it to dry so it all goes matte black. Um, didn't even wire brush that one. Would have preferred silver, but I couldn't find any heat proof silver in the shed, so black it is. Um, fitted up the new starter rope. It's all nice and new. Um, also, did new air filter. So, um, spark plug's already new, what it looks like. Um, we'll check it, clean it before it goes anyway. I've just got to replace that O-ring, and then put the muffler back on, put the top on, and give it a run, I suppose. So we're all back together now. Um, haven't actually started it yet. So, exhaust's on. Looks a lot nicer than just rusty colour. I'll turn this fuel on. Um, probably won't start straight up. Um, sometimes when you've had the flight cover off, it does take a couple of goes. Be hopeful though. Um, might need to replace this fuel tap. I'm not entirely happy with it. Other than that, quick polish. Um, clean it up really nicely. We should be able to put it up for sale this weekend. And we've had some, uh, probably two inches of rain in the last two days, so that'll help matters too. Sounds like it's priming, so um, we'll give it a go. Get harder, do this and that. finished product um, just listed it $120 firm so uh, see how it goes hopefully gone by the next couple of days and um, I quite like these mowers I'm quite fond of them so I don't really care if I get stuck with a really decent one if I just sell off the crappy one I use every day I've done that before all right thanks for watching so the two stroke mower has gone I did actually get the 120 I just bought a couple of schooners at the pub on the way home from work. Um, so that pretty much sums this video up. See, it's gone now. Um, I've got a lot of content recorded that's coming very soon. Um, my MBN connection with a bit of luck goes live on Friday. Um, it's been my biggest problem. They are very slow at the moment, so hopefully this will improve it. A lot. Um, I've got a lot of content just stored on hard drives at the moment, so I'll release that um, once this new internet connection's up. Um, 
just a little sneak peek on what is coming up. That thing there. And some computer related stuff. Well, not from the music ago, but a bit of a new music ago. But my daughter's helping out with it. So, anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.